It's mid-December here in my Modesto, California tropical garden. It's frigid cold today. The high temperature is only 45 degrees. Hence, that's why I have my jacket on. We're here today to talk about how I get avocados in such a chilly climate. But first, if you like this channel, go ahead and hit that like, the subscribe button, the notification bell. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. I do my best to get back to everybody with their comments and questions. Growing avocados in a chilly climate has its difficulties, let's just say. Number one, it's our lowest temperatures of the year is often in the low 20s, mid to low 20s. 25 is not unusual. But I grow trees that are more acclimated to such cold temperatures, such as Mexicola, Mexicola Grande, Bacon, Wilma, and a few others that just can take that early morning cold, coldest day of the year. But there are other th difficulties in growing tropical fruit trees, such as the avocado, in areas like this that actually have temperatures day and night below 40 degrees sometimes. For example, our high temperature today is 45 and our low was right around 38. It's like a refrigerator out here. One of the difficulties in growing tropical plants is that in this weather is that it has a hard time taking up nutrition when the soil temperature is only 49 degrees. Here we have my multi-grafted avocado tree. Uh, this one has lamb hass and uh, Mexicola grande and it's really doing good. And one of the reasons why is before it stopped its rapid growth in the fall, I put down Solpo Mag, which is an amendment, uh, a nutritional amendment containing sulfur, magnesium, and potassium. And um, it, it just takes it, it up into the roots and it greens the tree up so much better than if I hadn't. And I'll take you over to another tree that has nutritional deficiencies due to our chilly weather. But as you can see, this one's actually, this one is the Mexico La Grande and it's producing flowers. Here we are on a day that it's only 45 degrees. And actually it's been 45 degrees uh, for a high temperature several days this week. This right here is my queen. Uh, and you can see it's beautiful. It's in, in perfectly good shape. Um, I grafted this a couple years ago and this year for the first time it actually has some fruit on it and queen not being a Mexican variety requires some time on the tree even during the winter time and as you can see look at this big old thing this queen avocado has been hanging here since I believe April and it's a pretty heavy one it has a couple more months to hang on the tree before it'll be ripe. but overall this multi-grafted tree is doing very good uh, considering. And as I mentioned, it's because I use Solpo Mag. It adjusts the pH of my uh, soil to a more acidic soil. Our soil naturally is uh, about seven, seven and a half. And avocados like six and a half or six. But as you can see, the Mexicola and Mexicola and Mexicola Grande is pushing buds. I believe there's actually some flowers. <laughs> no, fl no, no uh, bees are going to be out in this chilly weather. Let's go over to my uh, Wilma tree and take a look at it and see how it's doing. So here we are at my other avocado tree in my demonstration garden. This is the Wilma tree that I've spoke so many times about and let's take a look at the quality of the growth on this tree it's really not doing that great um, it looks like it's getting some it has some nutritional deficiencies and I believe it has to do with the soil pH um, and the fact that I did not put sulpo mag on the uh, the ground in the fall still got some fruit hanging on it but um, it's still hanging fruit but the tree is just not in as good of condition as the uh, Mexicola Grande and as I mentioned I put this stuff on my Mexicola Grande tree 
sopomeg and it it just seems to adjust the pH in the soil and helps your avocado trees and other tropical fruit trees to make it through the chilly winters here in San Joaquin Valley of California. So once again, my name is Jeff, and if you like this channel, go ahead and hit that like, the subscribe button, the notification bell, and if you have any, have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to get back to everybody. You have a great day.